Hello, welcome to Reso Coder. In this tutorial, you're gonna learn everything important about linear layout so that you can start making your apps as quickly as possible. If this is the first time that you're working with Xamarin, I recommend you to watch my tutorial in which we make our first app. You will learn a lot of things about how to set everything up and you also get a basic overview of the development process. Official Android documentation says that Linear Layout is a view group that aligns all children in a single direction, vertically or horizontally. So let's start off right there. Over here we have a basic Linear Layout. Let's add three text views to it so that we can demonstrate the effects of changing the properties of Linear Layout on these three text views. So I have created one text view which looks something like this. And it's pretty simple, the width and height just wraps the content of the text view, the background color is set to be red, and then I've just set the text size and the text content. Now I just want to create two more of these text views. So and here we have them. Let's go back to the source code. And over here you can see that Android orientation is set to vertical. Let's change this to horizontal. And when we go back to the designer, you will see that they will be aligned horizontally. That is all that this orientation attribute does. It just changes the orientation to vertical or horizontal. Now let's change this back to vertical. And basically, this is all that the linear layout does. But there is one more hugely important thing. And that another important property of linear layout is that it supports weight. By specifying weight for the child views of linear layout, we can tell how much screen a view should occupy relative to other views. But now enough talking and let's see it in action. So let's add a weight attribute to all of these text views. We can do this by typing Android column layout weight and let's set this to be equal to 1. Now we want to do this for all the text views and let's check out the designer. And as you can see the text views now take up the whole height of the screen. And also each text view takes up an equal amount of the screen. Because there are three text views, each text view occupies one third of the height of the screen. When we go back to the XML source and we change the weight of the last text view to be equal to 2, now theoretically this last text view should take up one half of the screen. That is because the sum of all the weights is 4 because 1 plus 1 plus 2 is 4 and this last text view takes up two of the four weight distributions if we would want to say it that way. And two out of four is one half. When we check out the designer we can see that the last text view which is this third one, the green one, doesn't actually take up one half of the screen. It takes up only approximately one half of the screen. And why only approximately? Well, let's go back to the source code. And over here you can see that the height of the text views is set to wrap content. So it turns out that layout weight is not the only thing that influences the height or the distribution of the space between these text views. When the height is set to wrap content, it also plays the role in the distribution of the space. Now when we set the height to be equal to 0 dp, so basically we set the height to be nothing and when we do this on all the text views, now when we go back to the designer, you can see that the third text view which is set to have weight of 2 now takes up precisely one half of the screen, which is just as expected. And that's because the only attribute affecting height is now the weight. So that's all there is to the basics of linear layout. To get the code written in this tutorial, click on the link in the description which will take you to resocoder.com. There are many more layouts to cover, for example relative layout or grid layout, just to name a few. So if you don't want to miss future tutorials, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button as well. If this video helped you, give it a like and also share it. If you have anything to say, leave a comment, follow me on social media and see you in the next video.